I love, love, love watching people and trying to figure out what's going on in their heads, trying to figure out what's next in the negotiation, trying to figure out what's distracting them and what their focus is. I represented clients such as Macy's when they did their leverage buyout, the estate of Saul Goldman, actually Saul Goldman himself, who was the largest landowner in, uh, in New York. And I've lived through, from 1982 until today, four real estate cycles, ups and downs, um, which is something that uh, gives me a lot of pride because uh, I've been busy all four cycles. 90%, if not more, of the clients in the real estate space are tough on the outside, but there's a soft spot inside. They're like the, um, what's the uh, Israeli fruit, the sabra, tough on the outside, really soft inside. The main thing is, in order to be a good negotiator, you have to also understand the other side's concerns and the other side's interests. You can't just understand yours, and you can't just advocate for your position. It's really important that you develop a friendship or a relationship um, with the other side and not look at everything as a, um, as a war. You know, there's a beautiful saying by Abe Lincoln, discourage litigation. As a good um, commercial lawyer, that's your goal, is to resolve things not through litigation, litigation is a tool, but to resolve things through negotiation and, uh, and settlement. I always hate it when the client on the other side shows up with the litigator as well as his real estate lawyer for the first meeting. That indicates to me that uh, he's not really interested in coming to a peaceful resolution. The way I focus my attention is I always pick out, before I enter a negotiation, the five or six or eight or nine um, items that are extremely important to my client. To go through a document and pick an issue on each and every page, and you know some of them do it on each and every paragraph, that's a mistake because what you end up doing is you end up losing the forest through the trees. Probably my most important lesson when you, when you have an organization that you're representing is to deal with the most junior person and the most senior person the same way. You treat them with respect, you try to convey to them that you want to come out of this with a win-win and hopefully they go in that direction. You know, hopefully when you mention my name they'll say he's a really good guy and he's really smart and to me that's the win.